In this IG Apps tutorial, you'll learn how to create a drawable with a gradient background color. This way you can apply the drawable as the background for your XML elements. Like in this case, I'm using my drawable as the background for a relative layout, and it transitions from a red color in the top left corner to gold in the bottom right corner. Let's get started. Head on over to your activitymain.xml file underneath layout and resources. We're going to create a relative layout as shown in the demo so that we can apply the gradient background to this relative layout. The relative layout's width and height are both going to match parent and we're going to provide some padding or I mean margin around this relative layout that way there is some space between it and the edge of the screen. So the amount of margin that I'll provide will be 4 SP. And I'll also center this in the screen. So layout center and parent equals true. Now with this basic stuff out of the way, we can go ahead and create a drawable file for our gradient background. So I'm going to right click on the drawables folder, hover over new, and select new drawable resource file. Now it's asking me for the name of this file, and I can go ahead and call this gradient, hit OK, and my file is ready to be modified. Inside of our file, what we're going to do is we're going to change the selector to a shape. That way we can define a shape for our background. And I'm going to also use the gradient tag to specify the colors that I want in my gradient and also the angle of the gradient. So when we do this, you can, if you type Android, you can see some of the various attributes that we have. We'll start off with the start color. And for the start color, so the where the gradient starts at, I'm going to specify a red color, FF5, F5F. And you can see that right now, this is what our gr gradient looks like with this red color. And we can go ahead and adjust the angle of this gradient by using the angle attribute. So I can type in Android angle. And if I do 315, it will go from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. And this is what I want. You can go ahead and play with the angle to if you want another direction. Now for the end color, by default, it's going to be white, but what I want to have is a gold color. So I can type in Android end color. And now for the gold, I'm going to use the hexadecimal code FFD581. And you can see the updated gradient that we have. There is one more attribute that we can specify for the color, and that's for the center color. So just as an extreme example, if I wanted the center to be black, you can see here transitions from red to black to gold. But in this case, I'm going to instead do an orange sort of color. So I'll type in FFB381. And now I have this transition from red to this um, orangish color and then to gold. The last thing that I'm going to do with this background gradient is specify the some um, curved corners. And I'm going to say Android bottom right radius equals 40 SP. And I'm going to do this for the top left radius as well, 40 SP. So now you can see that our drawable gradient has a curved corners in the top left and the bottom right. Now with our gradient complete, we can go back to our activity main.xml where we created our relative layout. And for the background of this relative layout, we can type at drawable and then gradient because that's the file that we just created. And now when we run our app, we can see what we've created. Our app has launched and you can see the background that our relative layout has. It has curved corners and it also transitions from this red color in the top left to an orange in the center and to a gold in the bottom right. This concludes the tutorial on creating gradient backgrounds with Drawable. If you found the tutorial useful, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the IG Apps YouTube channel to be notified when future tutorials come out.